is a member of the Junior Homecoming Court, and we're going to ask her about homecoming. So, uh, how did it feel to find out you were nominated for the homecoming court? Um, I was pretty excited that I got nominated. It was my first time to ever do this, so I was excited for it. Okay. Uh, what kind of events did the school have at the pep rally on Monday? We had a parade, and then following the parade was the pep rally at the football field, and then after the I mean, pep rally was the bonfire. All right, thank you for your time. Thank you. We're with Katie Hayes, and we're going to ask her about homecoming. So what does homecoming mean to you as a student? Well, homecoming is like, one, it's really important because it allows a lot of people to be reunited. Um, a lot of families get to see, you know, their loved ones who are like away at college or something. They all come home for the weekend. Personally, for me, I get to see my sister, who I don't see very much. Um, and it's also just fun because it creates a lot of memories and all the people dressing up, everyone getting like really into the spirit of the school. It's really fun. Okay. And uh, what future Homecoming Week themes would you like to see next Homecoming? Uh, the Homecoming Week themes this week were really fun, but I'd also love to see like maybe like a meme day because I know like people love like laughing at those kind of things. So it'd be fun to see like people dress up as those. And also like a gender bender day would be fun where like girls dress up as guys and guys dress up as girls. That'd be fun. Okay. Thank you for your time. Thank you. I'm Reese Lawson here with Coach Gent, and we're going to talk to him about the Hall of Fame. So, Coach Gent, how does it feel being inducted to the Kaufman Hall of Fame? Well, it's, uh, it was a surprise to me. I had no idea. Actually, when I got this phone call, I thought it was a friend of mine doing a joke on me. And I didn't even take the first phone call. And then they were persistent about calling again. I said, well, I might not take this call, whoever it is. I don't usually have my phone with me. I was at the house. And... Uh, when they told me who it was, I said, uh, who is this? And she repeated again. She said, well, I've been trying to get a hold of you. It was the secretary over at the high school. And I said, oh, but I feel, uh, I feel honored, to be honest with you. I never had even thought anything about it. But it's uh, somebody must have thought something. But I have no idea how this actually happened. Cool, cool. So, how does being inducted to the Hall of Fame, how does that affect your mile time? Well, I got this thing. I know I'm going to get older, but uh, I don't really care about growing up. But uh, it will probably put another couple of seconds on me. You know, I, the, my head's getting a little bigger, probably. Yes, sir. So, uh, how does Willie feel about you being inducted? I don't know really what Willie would say, but he'd just say, well, let's come on with me. Let's go on the road again. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Coach Gent. Uh, thank you. Hi, I'm Justin Hicks. I'm out here with Priscilla Lopez, one of the captains for the Lionettes. How can you tell me how y'all are going to compete this year in y'all's competitions? Our competitions start in February, and usually we do three team routines and this year I know we're doing a palm routine, but we're not sure what the other two are yet. And then our officer group will do three officer dances, and then we'll usually do a kick routine as well. How can you tell me how y'all prepare for the games and all other kind of stuff? Well, we have 6.45 a.m. practices three days out of the week, and then the other two days we have 7.15 practices, and then we have after-school practice on Tuesday until 6, and at these practices we clean our dances, work on technique, and we do team bonding. All right, thank you, Priscilla. I'm Kurt Carrington here with Jay Gasper, and he's here to tell us about football. Tell us who, what position groups excelled this Friday. Uh, our linemen, they did real good. They stepped it up, and our quarterback, Trey Collier, he ended up scoring three touchdowns and the winning touchdown for us to get back in the game. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. What are y'all doing to prepare for the next game? We go full pads, no days off, yeah, doing anything, special teams. How have y'all done in district so far? Uh, right now we're three and zero, right, and we're gonna play Brownsboro on Friday, so we're gonna see how that turns out. We get the four and zero. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. I'm here with Devin Morse to talk about football. Who's been y'all's toughest game so far in district? Uh, I'll say Terrell because they wanted to win so bad, and it's a big rivalry game, you know. And 
They just wanted to give their all out, and it was a good game. Who's going to be the toughest game going forward? Uh, most likely Van, because it's most likely going to end up being for the district championship. So, and they're always good every year, so it'll be a good game. Uh, when is where? When and where is the next game? Uh, here in Kaufman against Brown Bell, Brownsboro, and you know we're going to take that dub. I'm here, Kevin Butler, with Coach Lott. So, uh, how y'all preparing for playoffs? Uh, well, we're practicing as much as we can get. Um, you know, with homecoming this week, it makes it tough, but uh, the kids are still real eager, and they're getting out here as much as they can, even on the weekends and practicing. Uh, we have practice today, practice tomorrow, and then we have our first playoff match on Thursday against Argyle. So, anyway, we're ready to roll. Who do you think your toughest opponent is going to be? Uh, you know, playoffs are never too easy, but uh, I feel like we're in a good position. We've beaten everybody that we, we should come into contact with, or we've at least played someone they've played, and we've had a better score with them, which usually carries a little more weight in tennis. Uh, the first tough competition we'll see is, is probably going to be this Thursday, uh, although I think we'll be able to go out there and take care of business. Uh, obviously, when we get to the regional semifinals, we'll come into – probably contact with Spring Hill and quite possibly Frisco Lebanon Trail, which we've already played them, but it was a tough match when we played them. So when we get through both of them, we'll find ourselves at the state tournament again, I hope. Do y'all think y'all going to go to the state in the third year in a row? Well, we're playing for it. Uh, I sure hope so. And, and the kids that we have out there, I think they can do it. Uh, they just got to go out there and we got to fire on all cylinders when we get out there. We can't go out there and, and play down to our opponent's level. Uh, we got to go out there and take it to them in doubles and then do it again in singles. So we do that. We'll be good to go. Okay, good luck. Thank you. I'm Rex the Rooster, and I'm here with Avery Browning, and I was just wondering how, how district's going so far for you and your team. Um, we're doing pretty good. We um, are sitting in second place right <coughs> now, <laughs> and <laughs> we, um, play, <coughs> we play Ferris tonight. All right, and what are your expectations against your um, team in Ferris? Well, Ferris <coughs> is probably one of our lower teams in the district, so we're expecting <coughs> a pretty, <coughs> pretty, pretty big win tonight. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <coughs> I'm Rex the Rooster here, and I'm with Katie Hayes, and I was just wondering how your team's going to do with all the current injuries. Um, we have, like you said, oh, <laughs> we have a ton Look of injuries. <laughs> we have a ton of injuries, but um, a lot of JV girls have stepped up to the plate, and they're doing a great job. So we're all Look working up. well Look together. <laughs> we're all working well <laughs> together, and it's it's going it's going nice. It's going good. Okay, and how are I mean, what are you and your team going to do during the bye week to stay in shape? Um, we're still going to do our normal workouts, still our normal volleyball practice, and it's good because it gives those injured players a lot. It gives those injured injured players a lot of time to recover. So I'm glad that they have a week off. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.